All right, here we go. Here's a first look at the Belva. Uh, what's it called? BXA15001 monoblock amp, 1500 watt max. Here's what you get in the box. You get the amp, uh, pretty decent looking amp. I like the, I like the black and white uh, warranty card, owner's manual, uh, base knob, cable. Uh, there is the base knob. It's a plastic base knob. It does have a power light and no clip light. All right, and then you get a little, there's some mounting screws, high level inputs, and an extra 30 amp fuse. If you guys know, the green is 30 amp. So that should tell us something, right? 1500 watt max, but it's got a 30 amp fuse. Let's take a look here. Yep, so here's our uh, speaker in and out. It, it's a mono block, but you just get one positive, one negative. That is a 30 amp fuse, all right? Screw down terminals, um, power remote ground, and that's it. The controls, let's see, are on the other side. So you've got a, a power and protect light. Uh, looks like it's green for power and red for protect. Uh, they got that correct. Some amps, I don't understand, will be, um, red for power and green for protect but uh high level inputs um rca inputs so input mode high and low you got a gain a low pass filter you can switch between full range and low pass and then the base eq and then there's the output for the remote um this is kind of unique right it's a class a b mono block that's full range so this amp could be used for subs or mids and highs. Let's say you had uh, door speakers. You could run them off of this and uh, you just wouldn't be able to fade, not fade, but balance from left to right. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I've never done that and I don't know anybody that does, but um, this is rated to go to two ohms mono. So you could run two four ohm uh, coaxes, for example, that would take you to two ohms and it's a full range amp so it will run those just fine you just wouldn't be able to go you know left and right um but anyhow so i will tell you this i've already looked over this box i've already looked over the um, owner's manual there's no rms ratings sorry for being so shaky here i'm trying to do this one-handed i need to get a tripod i guess on page 10 Here's the ratings. So we have the one on the right, the BXA 1500. So max output, two ohms, 1500 watts by one. Max power at four ohms, 750 by one. Uh, there is no RMS ratings. I've already looked through the book. So anyhow, stay tuned for the amp dyno and let's see what she actually does. That 30 amp fuse indicates to us that it's probably gonna do 300 watts or less. All right, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.